Peppa, George, this is the night we leave you in charge of our house. We need to dig up resources overnight so we can do our garden tomorrow. I will go to my cave where I need to find and dig a lot of iron. I really hope for you and that nothing will happen to you. We'll be back around morning, you'll be asleep, so don't worry, we won't be back in the morning. I think you understood everything Papa Pig said. You just need to sleep alone, without us. This is not such a difficult task for you, I believe. We'll just take a few hours to gather the necessary resources. While Daddy goes to the cave to get the iron ore, I'll go to a high mountain nearby and pick some flowers for our beautiful garden. You'll wake up and we'll be home by 100%. All right, Dad. All right, Mom. It's gonna be really interesting to live without you for one night. I'm gonna keep an eye on George so he doesn't run away. I will also take care of myself so that nothing happens here and we do not worry. We will be waiting for you in the morning. But now we will definitely go to bed so that the morning will come and you will be with us again. <laughs> So, everybody, here I am going to my cave, which I myself have dug. I think there is definitely an iron that we need so much. The main thing is to be very careful because at night it is very difficult to see everything. Here in just my mind and I see already iron left to go down there. Hey. So now I'm going to the mountain on which grow beautiful flowers. I found her when I was walking in the forest. All that remains is to find her. In the night it will be very difficult because almost nothing is visible and the trees also hide the whole view. Now I run and I can definitely find her. So I climb this mountain. Now it's just a matter of time. All that remains is to collect all the flowers that are here. The more there will be, the more beautiful will be our garden near the house. Here grow in red flowers and yellow flowers, it is very good. Different flowers on our garden will look very beautiful. Ah. It's morning, hooray! Oh, only where are the parents? They said they'd have to come before we woke up, but they are not here and it is already quite late in the morning. They definitely had to come. Suddenly they decided to stay for a long time and collect everything. We need to check them out. Now we need to go to the cave to dad and the mountain to mom. I hope they are all well. <laughs> I know roughly where dad's cave is, so let's go there and look for him. I really hope he's okay and he just stayed there. Here we come to his cave. Oh my god, Dad crashed right at the beginning of his cave. I'm just shocked how this can be. Let's run to Mom on the mountain and tell her about it. <coughs> the mountain my mom went to, I know where to find her. It's very close to the village, so now we're going to go in a rough direction and find it. What? Mama Pig is broken from the mountain. I hope she's alive. Let's come closer. Oh my god, she's not breathing. It just can't be. Mom and Dad crashed together on the same night, but in different places. We need to think about what to do with you, George. So, George, our parents have crashed, and now all we have to do is bring them to the village, put them in a coffin, and bury them. It's a big loss for us, because it's our parents, and it's not like we can have a good life together. We'll be pretty bored without them, but I think there's nothing we can do about it. I hope we can think of something or someone will help us. <laughs> <laughs> now it is necessary to build two graves. I have already prepared coffins with their bodies and it remains only to bury them. The grave will be completely covered with earth and from above it will be made visible. I never thought I'd be burying my own parents. It's really awful. I'm just shocked. I don't have any thoughts that I just said. I have a mess in my head. I also need to build crosses at each grave. These graves will be right outside our house so we can visit our parents every day. This is about how our graves turned out. It's just awful that our parents died. Why did they even go for resources that night? It was a mistake. <laughs> we were about to go home, but we met some witch who wants something from us. Looks like she's calling us out. I think she wants to help us. I think she has some way out of our situation, and we will definitely get our parents back. Hurrah! But it is too early to rejoice. It is necessary to see where this witch calls us. We still do not have a special way out. Swamps are nearby. Run not too far. She led us right to her cabin. I'm a little scared, of course. But for my parents, I'm ready to do anything. I wonder what this witch will come up with. George, don't be afraid. If they're afraid, they'll be together. Let's go see what she has to show us. <laughs> <laughs> wow, she's so comfortable here. But we need to get to the point. I think she wants us to use the potion jar and cook our own healing potion for our parents. 
All the ingredients are probably in this trunk and we just need to boil two potions ourselves. Thank God I know a little how to do it and I'll do it without much trouble. Well, let's see what's in the chest that's in the witch's house. Oh my God, there are all the ingredients to make the potion we need. Hurrah! Now proceed to the potion. In order to make a healing potion, we need to go through several stages. First, I have to make a muddy potion, which is what I'm doing. To do this, you need to load the powder into the potion jar, put the usual water bottles, and mix them with the growth of the lower world. Next, we need to make the cure itself, which is done in much the same way as in the first stage. All we have to do is take these muddy potions and mix them with the glowing watermelon that will make the healing potion. Okay, we made a healing potion, but in order for us to throw it into the grave, we have to make it explosive. All you have to do is take the potion we have and mix it with the powder. The final step in our potion making is that we make this level 2 potion, so that it will definitely help us and bring our parents to life. Thank God there is for this glowing dust, which is just what it takes. Hurrah! Soon we will revive our parents. Now we can run home with peace of mind and revive our parents. It's a good thing we fell for that witch and she helped us a lot. If it wasn't for her, I have no idea what we'd be doing. Good thing I remembered my way home. <laughs> this is a momentous moment. We stand at the graves and we have only to throw the potions. So a moment of truth. Hurrah! I hear parents crawling out of their graves. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. How we missed you. You would know what we went through to revive you. We are very happy to see you. Thank God we succeeded and you are alive again and with us. Oh my God! Did we die when we went at night to get our resources? That can't be! I'm so glad you could bring us back to life! I personally missed you, Peppa and George, a lot. Thank God we are with you again, Peppa and George. It lasted a long time. It is very scary to die at all. I will not wish it on the enemy. Hurry up and go home and we'll talk quietly. Peppa, George, how did you get us to come back to life and how did you live here without us? It's not like you could find us, bury us, bring us back to life in a day. You guys are great at finding a way out of this terrible situation. I'm just shocked to be back with you. It was a very scary but also interesting way to bring you back to life. First we woke up and saw that you were gone. We went to look for you and saw that you two had crashed and went to bury you. As soon as we made the graves, we saw a strange witch and decided to follow her and went to her hut, where there was a potion jar and all the necessary ingredients. I made healing potions from memory for you and immediately revived you. This was our way. Wow, that sounds very exciting. You did a great job with George that nothing scared and saved us from the other world. We promise we won't run away again tonight without you. We just wanted to make it quick, but we weren't ready for such a dark night, and personally, I just fell off the mountain. That's the last thing I remember. I love you all so much. <laughs> Hello, family. Hi, subscribers. Today, we play again the game Minecraft. In this video, we continue to play the whole family in hide-and-seek because you loved it very much, and we like it very much. So I can only wish you a pleasant viewing of this new series of hide-and-seek in Minecraft. Today we will be playing in a large village where many identical houses and looking will be much more difficult. Hello audience! Hello family! Oh my god! I am so glad we are back to this wonderful game called Minecraft. There are so many possibilities, especially here you can play hide-and-seek. I really enjoyed playing last time so I'm full of spirit and fun and I'm ready to play a really cool game of hide-and-seek tonight. I will hide so well today that you will never find me in this village. I have some plans. Hi, parents and George. Hi, dear our subscribers. Finally, we continue to play hide and seek in Minecraft. I really enjoyed playing last time. I used to find you all the time because I'm the queen of hide and seek. And I'm not afraid to say that today because I will find you again. I know all the possible places you can hide because the first thing I think about is where I would hide. <laughs> My parents are already hiding, but they still don't know I have security cameras all over the village. In the last episode, they did not know, and in this episode, also hope not understand. So, now let's see who hid. Dad jumped into the well, which is very interesting. And my mom is doing something in the second house from where George and I sit. Hmm, it's interesting to see what they came up with this time. I'm hiding myself in this inconspicuous little house, which is right at the beginning, from where Pep starts looking. I think she's gonna miss this house at all and definitely not find me. 
I'm going to close the bookshelves in the corner because this house has a lot of bookshelves and I'm just going to blend in with them and Peppa won't be able to find me for sure. Well, I tried to find a place this time. I hid in the well, as in the last series, but I modified my hiding place. Everyone knows that in Minecraft you can put pictures so that you can go through them. Peppa knows about this too. So I'm going to replace the paintings with a carpet that will cover me. And Peppa might not understand or notice the rug and walk away. <laughs> so, Mom and Dad can't hear me. Time's up for hide and seek, so I'll start looking. I already know where everyone is, but I'm not going to start looking for everyone just yet so I don't get caught cheating with my parents. Okay, Mom's not in the first house, but we know she's hiding in the second, so now we run there faster to finally find her. This is the building she made to hide from me, but no one can hide from me, and that's for sure. I am the queen of hiding. Ooh, I saw some kind of hole between the steps and the bookshelves. Wow, you can see the pig, Mom! Ha ha ha, so I found you, Mom Pig. You definitely can't run away from me. Now I'll get you out of these bookshelves. Oh my god! Peppa, how could you find me so quickly? I was thinking of hiding in this village, so I thought of doing it here. Man, why didn't I fix this hole? I thought you wouldn't notice it at all. Palm Papa Pig, you definitely can't find. So, I found my mom and now it's time to find my pig dad. I think it will be very simple because he could not run far and in this village I will definitely find him quickly. I know where he is. Now I will accidentally look into the well. Wow, there is some glow as if there is something there. We need to urgently see what is there. Looks like Daddy Pig made a secret room under the water again. I heard her. I can't believe she found me so quickly. Oh my god! Peppa, you could still find me! I thought you wouldn't be able to find me at all because I already hid well this time. I didn't think you'd think to break this rug and even notice it. Ha ha, a good place to hide. But I found you again in the same place as last episode. You should try to hide better, but I can still find you. Peppa, you found us so fast, I don't know how you do it. Maybe you're the queen of hiding so fast to find it in a big village. It's either a psychic or knowing who's hiding where before you know it. But the door was definitely closed and I even checked it. Hmm, that's weird. Peppa's a good guy for finding us so quickly, but I'm also afraid of the fact that she's so clever at finding our hiding places. It's like she's got hidden cameras in the village, and she's watching while we hide. But I haven't noticed any such cameras, so you can't say 100%. This time I suggest hiding to everyone, even George. Peppa's gonna be harder to find us. I told you I'm the queen of hiding and you don't believe me. You can hide in the village, I'll find everyone because I'm very good at hide and seek. You can't hide from me, I'll find you again very quickly. Ha ha ha. <laughs> so again, everyone went into hiding. Now I'm here alone, even without George. Now quickly figure out who's hiding where. I saw my dad go into the first house, and then I had to see the camera in this house. Saw George running toward the big church. I think that's where he hid. Mom Pig ran in the same direction, so you need to see a camera in one of the houses that are in that side. Whoa, here comes Mama Pig. She wants to burrow in the ground on a plot of one of the houses. Now we need to find a camera from the first house. It's like a forge. So we're looking for a camera from the house with a chest. He hid there somewhere and now we will find him immediately. I think she hid under the steps, standing next to the table. We need to get an axe and check it out first. I'll hide very well this time, and I'll need a pickaxe and an axe. I want to hide in the first house because Peppa might think that no one in their right mind would hide right next to her. I'll break the steps, dig my way underground, and close the same steps. I hope this time Peppa will look longer. Well, I'm going to hide out in an unusual way. I'm just going to bury myself in one of the villages. While Peppa's looking for me in the house, I'll be outside the house. Ha ha ha. Only there's a very open space and she can run near this house and see me. I hope that doesn't happen and Peppa never finds me. <laughs> So, my search has begun. Now I will find everyone even faster. The first thing I'm going to do is go into this forge and try to dig up the steps and see if there's any hidden room there. Oh my god! Dad, again you are badly hidden and I found you quickly. Ha ha ha! You're out of luck, you're the first I found. Well, that just cannot be. Why I first? How did you even guess? Did I try so hard to make a hiding place and you found me first? It's very strange! I will look further. The next target will of course be the mother, who hid in the garden of some house. Just need to understand what kind of house it is. I'm gonna run all the houses and see if I can find a vegetable garden. 
Looking through the windows, you can only see the arrangement of houses, but you cannot see any garden. Oh, Mama Pig! And what are you doing here? Ha ha ha! I didn't expect to see you here. Why did you hide so badly? Or did you think I wouldn't notice you? Geez, I thought you weren't gonna run around here at all and you couldn't see me here and you'd only look for me in houses. Again, you found me. It's all right with you, Mama Pig. Well, all I have to do is find George, so I'm gonna find him real quick. I think it's small and decided to climb the tallest building in this village. He's 100% in this church now and I'm gonna find him right now. Oh my God, George, aren't you afraid to be here? I found everyone again and I'm great. Against me, it is difficult to play because I will always win. I couldn't lose to anyone. Ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> So we finished playing for the second time in Hide and Seek in Minecraft. I found everyone again. So with me, it will be difficult for you to play. By the way, I'm also good at hiding. So even if someone comes looking for me, you'll never find me because I'm a professional at Hide and Seek. Especially in Minecraft, there are more opportunities and it is easy to win. This series of Hide and Seek was very unimaginable because Peppa found us from every corner of this village. Even if we bury, she will still find us for sure. It is very strange, but also interesting to learn how she does it. I suggest we all three search for one Peppa next episode since she says we can't find her. Like this series and subscribe to the channel and we will definitely come back here and play hide and seek again. Only play will be one Peppa. Ha ha ha! Hello, my beloved family. Today we will play a wonderful game called Minecraft. Oh. How long have we not survived in an ordinary Minecraft? Now we will have a very cool survival. Family, hi! Very happy to see you in this very wonderful game. Peppa, only we will have more than just the usual survival. We are on a very small island, so our survival will be really very difficult. I can't even guess what we're going to do now. It's very hard. <laughs> Family, it's great to see you all. Hello, everyone. Family, we are going to have a real very tough survival tonight. Mama Pig, I think it would be a great start if we went out and got not much wood. Since we are surviving on a small island, we need to make some kind of small house, or better yet, we'll put up tents and a fire. I think it would be even better than some regular house. Papa Pig, you actually have a pretty good plan. So, family, let's go get some wood. I think we really need it now. Okay, let's not waste any time. We need to go get resources right now. Peppa, where are you going? <laughs> hey you, family, I'm in so much pain. Okay, I won't waste any time. I'm going to go get resources for our house as fast as I can. Whew. I can't even wait anymore for us to build tents, put up a fire and roast marshmallows just like we did on our trip. Peppa, you are the same as always. You've gotten a little clumsy lately. Be more careful next time. Okay, by the way, you said something about going on a trip. I really like roasting marshmallows on the fire, too. It's really good. Can't wait to build our campground. Oh, family, why did you have to remind me about the marshmallows? I'm really craving fire-roasted marmalade right now. Family, let's go build our campground. I can't wait to eat fried goodies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, family, we finally built a campground. Whew! By the way, it looks pretty big and beautiful. Family, and marshmallow tastes like it just melts in your mouth. It's been a long time since I've had such deliciousness. Family, what do you think? Peppa, this is a masterpiece. I haven't had marshmallow in a very long time, and now I'm eating this and realizing that I want to eat it for the rest of my life. By the way, Take a look at our camp. It looks crazy beautiful. We put a lot of work into building it and look at what we did. Family, it's getting to be evening. What a nice environment we have here. Evening and we're sitting around roasting marshmallows on the fire. Oh, what a good mood I'm in. Just like on our trip. Family, I like it all very much. It's all very nice, but I'm tired. Let's go to bed. Yeah, it's really getting late. Huh, I could use a nap right now. Family, let's go to bed. We need some rest before tomorrow. We have a very big day ahead of us. All right. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Family, 
Good morning, everyone. Eh, such a beautiful day. Papa Pig, what are our plans? You were saying something last night in front of the fire. Like you said, we have some important business tomorrow, a serious day. I'd love to know. Yeah. Papa Pig, I'd love to know what you wanted to do today, too. It's very interesting, to be honest. Papa Pig, please tell me soon. My knees are trembling with interest. All right, family, since you are all so interested, listen up. Honestly, I'd like to do our trip again. I'd like to go mushrooming today. Do you remember when we used to go mushrooming? Let's go mushrooming today, too. Peppa, grab your basket and let's go look for mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> so, there's the basket. Family, I hope one of you took a knife. It's just how we're gonna cut the mushrooms if we find them, okay? First we have to find them, and then we'll think about it. I hope there are quite a lot of them on this island. Peppa, I really hope we find some mushrooms too. I would love for us to roast some mushrooms on the fire tonight. Eh, that would be delicious. Family, can't wait for tonight to come. By the way, there are no mushrooms at all. Family, I got another good idea. Let's make some improvements to our camp. We'll build walls of leaves. I think it'll be pretty cool. But first we need to get some leaves. Let's do it. <laughs> Dad, that's a really great idea. Even George liked the idea, even though he usually doesn't like ideas like that. Then I suggest that we can go leaf picking as soon as possible. We need to get some now. Okay, family. Let's go get some leaves already. We really need to hurry up. We're running out of time. We have a lot of leaves to get. That's why we have to hurry. Ah, uh, collecting leaves. It's a pretty good activity and not difficult at all. All right, let's get the leaves. Yeah, family, we really need to hurry up and get some leaves. We're pretty short on time. Family, let's get those leaves and go improve our campground. Woo, let's hurry up. I too think we really need to not hurry up much. Family, I'm already thinking about what our camp might look like. It's going to be fantastic. Family, let's hurry up with the leaf lighting already. I already want to start building our campground. <laughs> Family, let's get our campground set up. It should look fantastic. Uh, family, let me build the back wall out of leaves and you build the rest of the wall. George, you will build the front wall. You have the most difficult task. Oh, family, our camp is turning out fantastic. With these foliage walls, our campground is turning out just big. This foliage wall idea is turning out really, really cool. Family, let's get a jump on the construction. We need to hurry. Our video will be over soon. Let's really hurry up. Mama Pig, thank you so much for the praise. I came up with that idea on the fly! But it's really very cool. Yes, and with this foliage, our camp is really quite beautiful. All right, family, let's keep the conversation going. Let's get on with building camp. <laughs> family, we are almost built. Let's hurry up a little bit. There's really not much left. Uh, I already want to roast the mushrooms that we got. I've enjoyed our survival today so much, but I'm really looking forward to frying the mushrooms tonight. Oh, I really want to eat this deliciousness too. Family can't wait for it to be eaten already to roast mushrooms on the fire. Hey, I remember this flavor. It's so delicious. Family, thank you for such a beautiful day. I enjoyed it all very much. The island survival was really very cool. Thank you again, subscribers. And if you like this video, don't forget to put a like under this video. We will be very pleased. Peppa was with you, bye. Family, I really enjoyed today's survival. It was really cool. It reminded me of our trip to the woods. Eh, what fun times we had. We'll have to do it again sometime. Audience, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It will be our pleasure. There are already 3,000 of you. Thank you. We love you. See you soon. Bye-bye. Family, I really enjoyed our survival too. Thank you. Viewers, if you liked our video, don't forget to write about it in the comments. We will be very pleased to read your comments. Papa Pig was with you.
See you soon. <laughs> So while my parents are sleeping, I will go for a walk on the street. I woke up very early and do not want to make a lot of noise at home and wake everyone up. Oh my god! What is it about our house? It's like hidden rooms for our family and there are even portals. I wonder where they lead. I'm gonna go tell my parents. Parents! Parents! I found something interesting near our house. You will definitely like it and we urgently need to check out what it is. Get up, now! Peppa, why did you come so early from the street? Where were you? Why did not say anything? Well, that's okay. What did you find there that raised the whole house so early? I began to wonder what it was. Right behind our house are some colorful houses. They exactly fit our colors of clothes. There are blue, orange, and red. And in each of these box houses, there is some kind of portal. And I think we need to urgently check out what it is. Come on, I'll show you what it is. Wow. Wow, Peppa. And you're sure it's safe and should we go there at all? I wouldn't want to go there no matter where. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I didn't even expect these cabins to be right outside our house. It looks like someone has arranged it for us and wants to surprise us. Only it is unknown who this person is and why he does it. Having seen this and the real portals, I can tell you that I really want to go there and see what it is. Wow, I totally agree with Papa Pig because it's all like real and someone has prepared it for us. For each family member, the box is marked with its color, and it is now clear that each of the houses is an individual portal for each family member. I hope we will not stay there forever and definitely return home. I really want to start. Let's try to go there. Yes, parents, this is exactly what I told you. And you did not believe me and did not want to go anywhere. Now you want to see what's happening on the other side of the portal. But I'm certainly not mad at you, so I suggest you jump into the portals and see what's out there. George, you're gonna have to stay home in charge because there's no box for you yet. But as soon as we get there, we'll make the same house with the portal and we'll know what's there. <laughs> okay, I went into my portal and Peppa and Mom think they've already been through it too. Having appeared here at once, I understand that this is some kind of test that requires me not only endurance, but also ingenuity, then to defeat evil mobs. There are a lot of them, I hope they give me some weapons. But first you have to pass this parkour. It's got these funny heads and it looks really scary. There's also lava underneath, so I definitely need to pass this test, or I'm gonna fall down. You need to take your time and quietly pass this little parkour. Okay, after I show up, I'm in a room right now. There are a lot of sword stands and I think I need to choose one of them and I hear already the zombies. Probably need to beat them all. I think I'll take the only and unusual sword, because I think they will definitely win these zombies. Here are such big doors, it looks very beautiful. Now we will quickly defeat all the zombies and explore the general situation in this cave. Here such decorations are terrible, as if in some terrible cave. Here are the skeletons lying in a lot of disassembled place. Also, there are small treasures, and even a device for execution. Very scary! So I'm in the same room as my mom with swords. I probably also need to kill all the zombies to get through. I think it won't be hard, because I'm already seeing some weird lasers that zombies fall into, and then die quickly without hurting me. They're so funny when they're down there in lasers, I feel a little sorry for them. But they are very dangerous. They can just infect me and I will continue to infect my entire family. And we will remain forever zombies. It is very scary. That's why I keep a safe distance from them. Okay, I'm done with the simple parkour, and I have the choice of sword. I think it would be better to choose an unfamiliar and beautiful sword. It probably deals a lot of damage, and I will quickly kill these evil mobs. Already found one near a beautiful ladder through lava. Very breathtaking. Now I'm jumping over the fence and I'm going to slaughter all the spiders. Until the day they don't react much to me. But sometimes, because I hit them, they can hurt me in return. I try not to let that happen and I fight at a safe distance. It's so beautiful, I wonder what it's all about. Okay, I killed all the zombies, and all that's left is their remains and all the other sets in the room. There was very much rotten flesh. I do not know why I need it at all. Here everything looks very grim. The chains on the walls, the old planks on the walls, and the skeletons of the dead. It all creates a climate of terror and fear. But I am resilient and almost not afraid of it all. Perhaps you can already go to another room. I hope there is something interesting. Wow, how blinded me. There is no ceiling, but there is a grate, many skeletons, even a coffin. 
the strange chest. Oh my god! All the zombies died from those big lasers. Maybe they were meant to make it harder for me, but I was smart enough to trick those zombies. Ha ha ha! Hurry up and go! I hope it's more interesting than this! I noticed that there are trees growing on the sides here, and this is very much attached to the atmosphere of night survival, where on the way there are also zombies. Now we will break the blocks that prevent the exit and go on. I see a lot of lava. I think now there will be some interesting test. Wow, as I thought, a big Parker up. I hope I succeed and I immediately begin his passage. Okay, okay. I saw some weird door. We need to get in there. Oh no. There are still some spiders I need to kill quickly. It will not be much trouble for me. I'm more worried about what this room is, and there's a big mountain of diamonds. We need to find something like a pickaxe and get these diamonds. There are also many interesting buildings. There is a large workbench as well as a drum set. Very interesting room. So, I found the pickaxe and now it's time to mine all this pile of diamonds. I hope it won't take long. Here I am finishing with the extraction of all diamonds. It turned out a lot and I'm very glad that we will have such a big fortune in our family. It's time to get back through the other portal. Yo, I found a cool pickaxe in that chest. Now I can break this cage and get all the blocks of diamonds. I think it'll be very cool that I will get it all. I have enough for everything that we have long wanted to do as a family. We will buy a new big house and live there. In general, we can even build a whole house of diamond blocks, but I think we do not have a little enough. If there were a little more of these, we would definitely have enough for this idea. Here I am finishing mining diamond blocks. There are so many of them, it's super. It was not in vain that I went here and killed many zombies, wasting my health. Now you can return home from this room with a calm soul and lots of diamonds in your inventory. So I'm finally going through this big complicated parkour. I hope I don't fall into this lava here. It is so beautiful and spacious, I would live here of course. But near the lava is very hot, so it is not so comfortable. You have to jump these blocks very carefully, because I can even slip and fall into lava. But I try not to let that happen, and I've almost completely gone through this difficult parkour. So I got to the end of this parkour, and here I immediately notice a big portal, and a chest next to it. Let's see what's inside this chest. Oh my god, there are so many diamonds, we'll have enough for a lifetime. After this finding, you can, and go back through the portal. So we finally went back to our village and to our house. It was very interesting to travel to such mysterious places. On my own way, there were angry mobs, namely spiders, and I also had not too complicated parkour over lava. At the end, there was a big surprise in the form of a mountain of diamonds. Now I have a lot of them. Oh! And I went to some mysterious cube that looks like a scary dungeon. In the beginning, I killed a lot of zombies, and that got me into the next room. All the rooms were filled with skeletons, old planks, and sometimes small treasures. In the second room, I found a chest with an iron pickaxe and extracted a lot of diamond blocks. I am very glad that I have been there at all. And I am very glad that you all really liked everything. I killed a lot of zombies with a laser and also went through a big parkour. And not even scared. George, I hope you didn't get bored without us. <laughs> Hello, family. Hello, audience. Today we continue to play Minecraft as a family. Today we will have an unusual series and you will definitely like it. We will be given our starting house and at the end of the day, it will be attacked by many zombies. Our task will be quite simple. All we have to do is protect this house from a zombie attack and escape. Hi, family. Oh my god, we're back in this game and it's very cool. I like surviving in Minecraft. I think it's a great idea. We need to anticipate everything during construction so the zombies don't break into our house. And if we break through, we need to come up with a plan to get out of the house. I think we can handle our task. Peppa, George, what do you think about this? Hello, parents. Hi, George. Are we going to hide from the scary zombies in this little house today? I'm very scared, but I'll try not to be too scared to help you. They'll be gone first and only show up at night. So I'm going to be hard at night helping you parents. I don't think this is the time to stand still and start building a home defense right away. <laughs> the first thing we'll do is, of course, a thorn trap. This is going to be a very effective thing, because all the zombies that are going to try to get into our precinct will just fall into this little hole with spikes. They won't get through unless they just happen to hit those spikes and climb. But I don't think that's going to help them. 
because we're gonna have something else. Yeah, Peppa, you're telling me what we need spikes for. Zombies are all stupid, and they're always going right after a living person, and they're dead and they're insane. They will definitely fall into those spikes and die until they jump out, which will be almost impossible. The only way to jump those zombie spikes is if they push each other through the spikes. So, Peppa and Mama Pig finished building a studded rip around the house and it turned out really cool. Now I want to supplement this protection with powerful traps. I think it would be a very good idea, because before the zombies fall into the thorns, they will fall into a trap where they will receive additional damage and certainly cannot go further. I at least hope so. <laughs> Next zombie trap will have a lava moat. This is the most common and effective trap. Because of the lava, definitely no one can climb out and it is a fact. We'll also have it all around the house and I'm working on it now. The next best thing will be the traps. It's while we do the long distance defenses. I hope the lava does not burn down the house. So you need to choose a neat distance. Peppa, you have a beautiful and smooth moat. I'm proud of you. Now it's time to pour all this lava and our moat will be almost ready. Only Papa Pig wanted to do something for him, but I don't know what. Thank God we have unlimited resources for protection. And that's the only thing that makes me happy. Because at the end of the day, zombies will attack and it scares me so much. At the end of our lava bed, we need to reinforce where all the lava is. As you can see, everything is right on the ground where there is grass. If a little lava gets on the ground, everything will burn down, including our house. So I've decided to make a stone contour at our moat so that nothing here burns. And I'm going to make a big wall around the house so there's not a drop of lava on the wood. Now Papa Pig has entrusted us with a simple but new and interesting task. We need to dig a hole that will lead to our basement house. Yes, yes, we have a cellar in the house and you will see it now. But first, you need to make a deep enough pit. Oh, here's our cellar. It is necessary to make a comfortable staircase, which we will go down. Now I'm going to show you roughly what it looks like on the outside and how it works. We come here, jump into the pit and run into the basement. I'm not sure why we need it, but I think Dad's gonna tell us. So now it's my turn to take care of this pit. Turns out this pit isn't for us, it's for zombies. We'll jump here if the zombies break through our defenses. They'll jump behind us, but they'll go to a place where there's no escape. And we'll build an underground passage that they can't get into. I am very cool, I like how I do it. There are still such beautiful hatches, no zombies will pass through them. We also need to make the main passage great so we can see the zombies, but they couldn't get through. Now we just need to make the stairs in the underground passage and everything will be ready. It's about going into this pit. I want to build the best trap of my life here. Right where I fall into the pit, I'm going to put up powerful fans that will blow everything out of the way. Zombies will fall here and fly into the spikes that will be behind. I think this is a very good idea and will be very safe in our basement and the whole house. The last zombie trap in our house is going to be the complete detonation of our house. You will think that we will die too if we use this detonation. But that is not so, you will soon know about it. Keep watching what we're doing. We will have dynamite coming from the basement and straight to the first floor of our house, so everything that was in the house will be completely destroyed. In order for all this dynamite to work at once by pressing the lever, you need to make a road out of red dust and connect all the dynamite with the lever. That would be a pretty simple idea because it's not the first time I've done this. Since the dynamite goes up, we can't just circle the first dynamite. So we break a little dynamite to get the red dust up there and the whole machine works efficiently. All right, I'll take the final part. Just in case, we will definitely need armor. So I will put here a chest of armor, which can be taken and immediately fired. There's enough for everyone. In addition, we need to make a ladder up. Because if it's not there, then we go up for a long time and we don't have time to get up before our house explodes and explode with it. Now we are finishing the last point in the protection of our home, namely the way to the rooftops, where the plane will be parked on which we fly out of here. It is certainly homemade, but it will work. Now I will build stone steps to the ceiling and Mom Pig with Peppa Pig to build it. Okay, I'm doing a very important thing right now, which is the obsidian floor that our plane will be on. We need to make a platform big enough to make a place where we can fly. Ask us, why do we make obsidian? The floor is made of obsidian so that in the explosion this platform will not collapse and we will safely take off and fly away from here. So now I finally make this plane. I know how to make it, so I volunteered to build it for our family. It is done very simply. First you need to put vertically two units of mucus, they put a normal piston. Then from the slime put three observers and work only with them. 
Instead of the first from the slime, put a sticky piston. The second observer to deploy, and the third to remove. Then make out the slime wings and tail, and the plane will fly. Oh my god! Mom, the zombie attack on our precinct has already started. I am very scared, but also good, because our traps help us so far and it certainly pleases. I suggest you, Mom, hurry up and run to our hideout, which is to get into the basement pit. When you get here, all the fear of these zombies goes away, but you realize that they can come here at any moment. You have to close the door from above and close all the hatches so that no one can enter. Yes, Peppa, it's very scary, but we're safe. It took us a whole day to set traps, so I think that our efforts have not been in vain and we will be able to escape these stupid zombies. I saw them running around lava and trying to figure out how to jump it. I hope they don't get here and Dad's gonna be okay. <laughs> The zombie wave has greatly increased. It is good that the whole family already in the basement expects the best. Now I need to train all the zombies here so that they fall into all the traps. Otherwise, they either jump them or do not want to even fall into them. That's good, because they don't dare to go any further, but it's also bad, because they're going to be standing here till the last minute. So now I jumped into our hole with the zombies and turned on the fans. Just had a little problem. Half the zombies have blown their fans off, and half of them have managed to get through and are now attacking me. I'm gonna have to kill everyone with my bare hands, and it's gonna be hard, but I think I can handle it. Okay, I beat all the zombies in this pit, and now it's time to take the armor just in case. Family, you take it too. Make sure we need it. Now all the zombies are left behind this cage, but I don't think it's very reliable. It's like the cage is going to break and all the zombies are going to come to us. Oh my god. That's what happened. Let's hit the lever and set the dynamite on fire. Immediately after that, we run upstairs and get on our plane. There's no way into the house no matter what you forget. Now all we need to do is get out of here. So we finally got out of this hell and now we can get used to the kind of village that's right in front of us. Today, the most important thing is that we have done our job and we are doing great. Hello, subscribers. Now we are the whole family is in the cage at the hunter edge and have been sitting here for a long time. He mocks us and just cooks food. We have no idea where we are and we need to think about how to get out of here. If we succeed it will be very cool but just run away we will not be able to. There are some nuances. Mom Pig please tell. Yes audience hello to you all. It is very terrible that we have got into the cage of such a scary hunter. His secret is that it is impossible to kill him. In order to finally defeat it, we will need to kill the Dragon Edge, and only then can we kill it permanently. We need to try to escape while he's distracted and kill the dragon immediately. It will be difficult to hide from such an experienced hunter because he will find us everywhere. Hello, subscribers. Family, I'm kind of uncomfortable here. I feel completely locked in and there is very little space. We need to think quickly how to run away from here, or I will not survive here. I do not know what this hunter has planned with us, but I do not like him at all. I think he tortures us first and then he wants to kill us all. Don't want to die somehow, so we have to run. <laughs> so first we build some tracks. Suddenly you can climb through here. Oh no, sorry you can't get out of here so easily. All right, I have a little idea. When we got here, I took the iron pickaxe with me. I guess he couldn't find it in my inventory. We're waiting for him to get his mind off cooking and start sneaking out. Daddy Pig, you're a genius! How good of you to take this iron pickaxe, which we easily broke this cage. I hope we can escape now and safely get away from that scary hunter. Wow, we are underwater. This hunter is not easy to chase us even into this habitat. And I wondered why the pressure in prison was so strong. Now we run in different directions so the hunter doesn't get us. Oh my god, we're finally out of here. I hope the hunter doesn't find us soon because we need to at least settle in a new environment that we don't know. Especially, you need to find food to live on, at least without resources and everything. After all, we have no things left. We were searched before we put in a cage and took all the things. Okay, so we're on the loose. But now we need to be very careful and careful. Because the hunter has definitely found our missing and will start looking for us. He is a brilliant detective at Minecraft, so he will find us where it would be impossible to find. With him, it is better not to play hide-and-seek. Ha ha ha! All right, this is no time for jokes. We need to figure out what to do next. It's all very well that we're out now, but now we just have to take and survive in the free environment. And the main thing is not to fall into the eyes of the hunter. Now you will need to gather initial resources in order to at least survive. Then I suggest we find a village and blend in. Make it harder for the hunter to find us. 
Hooray! Extracting resources on the outside is much cooler than just extracting resources. And this hunter will give us a little bit of motivation and jitteriness during resource extraction. Because at any moment, he could come and close us again. So we need to be ready for anything and stand up to him. I hope everything will be all right and we will defeat the dragon and with it and this hunter. <laughs> <laughs> now we're in some kind of savanna, which is a good thing because these are tall trees. And now we can get some wood very quickly before the hunter gets here. We do not know exactly when it will come, but we need to extract the resources very quickly. We can consider that as speedrunners. Of course, we are not professionals, but we will make sure that everything is smooth and quick. Here I am and beat the tree. Now I have to think about how we're going to get food. I think that this savanna is going to have something that grows on the ground that can be eaten. For example, some strange bushes on which grow a lot of different food. It's really cool that we have this. And now we can eat like carrots or make some big food that will feed us all day long. Oh my god! Family! I see the hunter far away and he runs right at me. It seems he wants to catch me first as the head of the family. Now I will definitely deal with him. I am very scared, but I must try at least to kill him or something. Now he'll come running and I'll pretend to be afraid of him, but then I'm going to attack him and kill him sharply. We'll have some time to run away. Hooray! I defeated this hunter with an iron pickaxe. How good it was that I had it, and it was very easy to kill him. Now I run rather to get the boulder that never got, and we can run further and look for the village. We will definitely need it in the far away. Okay, family, well done for getting the resources we need, but we need to move on faster, because the hunter is about to hit us again. Now from afar, while I was digging for the boulder, I saw the edge of the village, and I suggest we all run there. The main thing is that no one is left behind and lost, because the hunter runs all over the forest and finds each of us in a few minutes. So here we are in the village, and now we have to figure out what to do next. This village is on a mountain, and I suggest we all live in that tall house at the peak of the mountain so that the hunter can hardly reach us. Also, this house is the largest, and there you can settle down normally. This village is very nice because there are several beds that grow all sorts of vegetables and we don't have to worry about our food. In this village live such cool, nosy residents. I will have a good time living here, it will be very fun. But we certainly don't have time for jokes when we're being hunted by hunters. So we need to slow down this positive thinking for now. There are even a few animals so we can extract milk with ease as well as skin for armor. <laughs> Mom pig. And this house is not so easy to get because there is a very steep mountain. You pick the best house because even if you're very clever, you're not going up that mountain too fast. And the house is very spacious. It suits us very well. It is so cozy and high. I'm ready to settle down here to build beds, benches, and stove. I would live here all my life. Oh my god, family. I see the hunter again in the Dalek. Good thing I have good eyesight and he's not so close to us and we have time to escape. Now our plan is to go down and enter the cave that is near the fountain. I saw her on the way up here and she's really good for us to hide. I am shocked. We have not even had time to settle down and the hunter has already found us. As fast as he can do it, it looks like he's a really experienced hunter and we can't outrun him. But now I believe we should settle down in a cave, build a portal to the netherworld, and then find a portal to the edge and kill that dragon as soon as possible, so that the hunter can cease to exist too. Oh my god, Papa Pig, you're so good! You put blocks in that cave right in front of the hunter's face and now we have time to get away from him. We had just in time and the hunter could not catch up with us. Ha ha! Somewhere we are better than this hunter. Right now, we need to find a place to hide from this hunter. We also need to quickly find lava, to quickly make a portal to the lower world and get a lot of infrit rods. I can't wait to kill this dragon so that this hunter can get off our backs. I really want to go back to my old life without any hunters that keep us from surviving. I don't even know what we did to make him come after us, and it's weird. I hope he's still out there looking for us, thinking we're out. Oh my god! Is this hunter waiting for us here? Family, hurry up and run away from him. I've got a broken pickaxe and we have nothing to fight against him. Oh no! It was a trap and now we're going to die! It's coming up! What? How did we appear again in the same world on some plane? This is what we get. We too come back as a hunter only endlessly. It turns out that we have several times more chance to defeat him and we will definitely cope. Only all our things have burned in lava and now we have to do everything anew. But I think we will definitely cope. Hurrah! 
Yeah, we all survived in this lava. It's a pity about all the things we had, but it's not as important as getting out of this cave alive. Family, what are we going to do next? George, did you like everything? <laughs> yeah, family. Looks like we're coming back from every death, and that's good. In this series, we certainly did not have time to find a portal to the edge, because spent a lot of time on the escape and made a big mistake, and did not anticipate the trap of the hunter. But subscribers, I promise you that in the next episode, we will definitely find a portal to the edge and kill this dragon. And we will finally end with this hunter. Hello, family. Look back. We have stumbled on some strange cube. While we were walking through the woods, we came across someone's territory. I suggest we all look together at what's going on out there and why it's even here. I became very interested because it is a very strong obsidian cube and just cannot break it. Most likely there is something secret. Oh my god, it's really a strange structure. Don't you think it could be a trap for people like us who want to see what's in it for the sake of interest? I don't think it's a good idea to step into someone else's territory, but if you insist, you might as well see what it is because the passage is open to everyone. Family, I'm very curious about what's in there. I think an open passageway won't just be left there, and it's just a kind of protection for some building that's there. Let's just go and see what's out there because if we don't, we'll never know. All right, let's go see what's on the other side of this big cube. Wow, it's getting so dark. Wow, it's a protected village under a big obsidian dome. It looks like the people of this village don't like light and have built one here. Very interesting, you want to get to know this village. Look around and see what is there. It's so beautiful and unusual. It looks like it's day outside and it's always dark because of the dark obsidian. It's just not transferable feelings. I want to walk around and see what this village is. I hope we will not be locked in here forever, and we will live here as a separate world. It would be very terrible because we will never see the light again. There is in fact everything for normal living. There are vegetable gardens with plants and a lot of houses cozy for every inhabitant of this village. Very nice everything is arranged here. If I'm honest, I would stay here for a while, but definitely not for life. Oh my God. Family, something closes us from within, and now we can't get out of here. What shall we do? Oh no! Family, we have to decide what to do, because if we stay here for the rest of our lives, it'll be the worst remnants of our lives. After all, we will spend this time in complete darkness and a lonely village with the inhabitants. Papa Pig, don't worry. There's definitely some way out of this situation. Obsidian is definitely not thighs, so I think we can dig through caves and look for resources to make a pickaxe. There's even a lot of trees and resources for everything. We just need to extract diamonds and make a diamond pickaxe. I don't think we'll have much trouble. Parents, I think it should have. Looks like we're about to start some kind of quest and they're gonna offer us some way out. Let's run around this precinct and look for any unusual items or clues to escape from here. 100% should be the way out of this cube and it's pretty unusual. Agree with me, George? <laughs> I will run to explore the village from the farthest edge where the houses end. Suddenly there is something interesting. The village is so small and there are not so many residents here. I hope they are comfortable here at all. Here, a house has fallen into the ground and the resident stayed to live right inside the house. Not only does he live in a cube, he still cannot leave his house. Pity him. Wow, these gardens are so big. All right, well, I'm gonna take a walk through this little piece of forest. There are such big trees here, whether they planted them themselves here, or it is left of the ordinary world without a cube and just covered this village with this sarcophagus. It is very interesting to walk here, can be considered as your personal green corner, which will never break or contaminate. <laughs> I found some strange house with an open door. There's even some kind of look there sign. I think Peppa was right, and this is really some kind of puzzle. Oh my god! There's some kind of chest here. There's not going to be any solution soon. Wow! There is a key here that unlocks some door. We should urgently find this door and see what happens next. Family, I found some weird key card, and now we'll have to find the door it unlocks. No, Dad. Personally, I didn't see anything like a card reader. I was in the woods of that cube, but I didn't find anything interesting there. Very cool that you were able to find the key. We are already a little bit closer to solving this cube. Dad, Dad, I saw something unusual and like a card reader. Hurry up and follow me. Now I'll show you where it is. Drive and show me where it is. I can't wait to discover anything new with this map. 
Oh my god! Really, here is a reader of maps. It's a good thing he's out in the open. It's a little easier for us. So let's check this map and it's all open. There's a sign here. It says trap door. And I think this hatch is disguised as this block of rock. Oh my god. It is. We fall down and immediately notice a new sign signed staircase. I think there's some hidden staircase here too, so I can get out. There's also a chest here and I found a book. Wow. There's so much written here. If you look at the summary, it says he's the anonymous person who did this quest. And now we're gonna have to find some sequel where there are no houses and not in the village at all. He probably means the forest next to this village. Family. I found an unusual book in this house, and that was our first clue to the quest. We need to find clues that come from the forest that is near this village. Anyone has seen anything unusual in this forest? If yes, then say what. Any unusual thing fits. We need to check it out. Dad, Dad, I think I saw something in the tree, and it's not at all what it should be. You could say that in the dark oak tree there were logs of ordinary oak, and I think that's the clue. Let's go there now and see what it holds. Peppa, you're such a tracker. As soon as they told you to find something, you remembered it. It is very wonderful that you have such a good visual memory and you can reason. Good girl, hurry up and see what's there. <laughs> Now, somewhere here was this place. Now I'm going to find it. Oh, this is the place. See what this tree looks like. Let me now break down and see what is there. I think there is some kind of underground passage through which we can get out. Oh, manhole and fall from a height into the water. It's very exciting. Jump quickly behind me. Here, everything looks very unusual. It looks like an ordinary village. And here in the dungeons is a very rich bunker. I think the picture's here for a reason. There's some kind of chest with a lot of books. It looks like we need to find one that fits, and I found it right by the name. This book says this time it's the second clue, and this time we're going to need to find a password for this door that's right next to us. And most importantly, we need to pay attention to the paintings. I knew that they are here for a reason. Wow, this looks like the end of the line, because there's no ordinary way out of here. And either way, there's something out there that's going to get us out on the street for this cube, and we're going to make this quest. At least I hope so. Hurrah! Hurrah! We are coming to the end of the quest. It is smart enough, but at the same time a little short. But we have not completely solved it. So now we will pay attention to the paintings. There are so many of them. You will have to think well. Try to think of something, Dad. <laughs> so, you have to look at all the paintings first. There are very large and smaller and even square. They mean something, and you need to understand what... Oh! The code consists of four characters and types of paintings in room four. I think we need to calculate the number of each species, and this will get the digits of the code we need. Only these numbers will have to be put in order. So we have the numbers one, two, and two fours. Now we need to put these four numbers in the correct order in the code. Let's try first two, one, four. Oh, it doesn't fit. Then let's try four, two, one, four. Oh, it doesn't fit again. Okay, let's then try 4124. Four. Hurrah! This code came up and we went to the final room. Is there a railroad up here and we'll need a trolley? All right, now we just need to put up some trolleys for everyone and we can get out of here. Finally, it happened. And now we're gonna get out of here. How fast the rails move the trolley here. It is very fun and enjoyable. Especially when you get out again. How wonderful to see the light and look away. Hello family, today we continue to play Minecraft and again we have great adventures. In this series we're exploring something that I'll tell you later. I want to tell you that in the village where we now live, in one of the houses there is a chest with a map that will allow us to find a large mansion. That's where we need to go. How do you like my idea? Hello family, wow, Papa Pig, I really like this idea. I have never been to large mansions in Minecraft and would very much like to visit it. It will be quite a long experience in travel and think we will get enough positive emotions from such a trip. Just in time, George and Peppa will feel on themselves what a journey and for the first time will go to a large mansion. Hi parents! Hi George! Finally we play Minecraft. This is my favorite game. It is very addictive and even sometimes breathtaking from this game. This is very cool. I am very glad that today we are going on a great journey. I hope this castle will be so big that it will not be enough just to lift your head up. I imagine it is large and three-story. <laughs> 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 
So now we are going to search all over the village. All houses can be run. Do not be afraid that you will drive the residents. I start with the first house. It's probably some local library, but there's nothing here besides a workbench. Then you can run right to the next cabin and it'll probably be the farmer's house along with the garden. But I don't think they're gonna have a map of the mansion. They don't need it. All right, well, I'm gonna go through all the little houses in this village. There's plenty of them, but they're small and it won't take long to check everyone out. So I'm gonna go through all the houses real quick. And if I don't, Peppa's gonna have all the hope of finding them. So far, I can't see anything in any of the houses. There is a lot of emptiness, or in some of the stairs to the roof. Okay, well, I'm gonna go check out all the other houses that my parents didn't check. There are so many gardens, I would hide this chest somewhere here, not in the house. All right, let's just find this chest since the parents haven't found anything yet. Let's see the little house first, but there's nothing here either. Then there was the biggest house in this village, where 100% would be a chest, because we went through everything. I didn't realize the chest was hidden in the most visible house. <laughs> All right. Well, now that we've found the map, it's time to hit the road. I can sort of navigate the maps, so family, follow me. We have to walk a pretty long distance because the mansion is in the middle of the woods and we're just running through the field. The main thing is to keep up with me and do not get lost. We need to find this mansion as soon as possible. Wow. It's pretty cool we're gonna be in this mansion soon. Peppa, you're doing a great job of navigating Minecraft maps. We'll try to keep up with you even though you're too fast. At the same time, we will have a small run, can be considered a sport in Minecraft. Ha ha ha. I think we are already running to this mansion. I can't wait to see this beauty with my own eyes. I've only seen his size on a map, and they're very scary in a good way. It is so huge that I think it is possible to settle there from 1,000 people without any problems. The main thing is to find a place where to place them. I think that there is everything there for life, and it will be like a city with everything important. <laughs> Finally, we got to this mansion. It's so huge, I'm just shocked. More home in life I've never seen, and it's very cool. I suggest you settle here for a while, maybe forever. Just need to make sure that no one lives in this house. I think it's the home of some bandits or something like them. Oh my god, what a huge house! I am just shocked! I really like being here, I feel very small. Ha ha ha! There's such big stairs and high ceilings, it's pretty cool. I suggest we all take a look around this house right now and see what's basically there. And I think we'll find something interesting. We'll also have to find a room where we can stay. I love it here, I'm glad I'm here. It's really cool that we checked the secret legend of the village and found this map, and now we're gonna run around this mansion and even start living here. That's really cool because there's so much space to play. For George and I, it's like a big city where you don't even have to go out and spend all your time here. <laughs> so, let's begin perhaps to inspect this large mansion. One floor will take a lot of time, so we separated. The first thing I notice is that there is no light in most of the rooms and so you need to carry torches with you for the time being. The first room I found was something like a guest table for one or even two people. It's not really clear why. Also I found here immediately some kind of prison. It seems that there really lived robbers and locked their victims here. Okay, well, I'll go the other way from the main staircase. There are such big corridors, I love it. Immediately I noticed the same room as Papa Pig. It is very good that there are a lot of repetitive rooms. You can make something useful out of them. After all, we will not have guests anyway. I also noticed that there are even rooms with their own garden. Weed is grown somewhere and mushrooms somewhere. It's so cool that it's all in the same house. Okay, well, I'm running down this beautiful corridor with big columns and it looks fantastic. I found some big warehouse with empty chests. It is very nice that there is such a large warehouse because here we can store all our extracted resources in different chests. One will contain all the ore and the other will contain all the necessary tools for our survival. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to start looking at the second floor, and I think there's a lot of interesting stuff. The minute I come across some weird room, it's probably some kind of rec room. But running far away, I have already found some not very large library, and this is very good because we will have our own private library, and you can read different books. There are so many of them.
Okay, well, like the first floor situation, I'm running the other way from Dad. Immediately, I notice an attractive room in which you can make a beautiful room in which we all together will fit so much and there will be plenty of space. As I go further, I notice a room with a table. Here, we can basically invite guests and arrange large feasts. The room my mother found is very suitable for us to build our cozy room here. We've already taken all the resources necessary to build it. So now I'm doing all the extra stuff the bandits left behind and we're getting started. We do the whole arrangement of things. There is just enough space for a beautiful arrangement of beds with bedside tables and it is very cool. It's so wide, it fits four beds. That's really cool. Next, we're going to put some cabinets in so that we can put all our clothes and other things. I'm starting to like it here with a beautiful interior. Okay, well, I'm gonna help my mom and I'm gonna set up the rest of my stuff. I will need to build a small kitchen in our room. Also the tables we will eat at, and of course we will have our toys here, with which we will play every day in this big mansion. Hooray! So, we have created a beautiful interior in this room. It has become so comfortable. Oh my god! Who is it? What kind of zombies are walking around? I hope they don't kill us. Oh my god! It's like zombie bandits who live or used to live in this house and they heard us and found us in our room. I am very afraid. I did not expect to see them all here. What should we do? Don't worry, parents. I'll deal with them now. No wonder I scraped a stone sword and now I'll kill them all. Get it. Get a dirty and scary zombie. Die. Peppa, oh my god! You did well to save us from the zombies. I'm proud of you. You're very brave. But now that no zombies are coming in, we need to do a lot of protection and no zombies are going to get in here. I was very scared of them, and so I will make the strongest defense against them, and never in my life will they come to us. Mama Pig has finally finished protecting our room, and the final part of our protection will be a high-tech door through which certainly no one will ever be able to pass but us. Now our beautiful room with a nice interior will never get hurt, and we will stay in this mansion forever despite some scary zombies. Hello, family. Today we will be again with you playing Minecraft and it is very cool. But there is one bad news. It is that we will lose our growth when we take damage. No matter what damage you have, you will still be slightly reduced. If you take a lot of damage, you will become very tiny and you will only have to be crushed. Ha ha ha. Hello, family. Oh my god, that's very scary news that our dad said. I personally don't want to lose height or even be as small as ants. We should all try not to get hurt at all, because if we are small, we can almost do nothing. We will run slowly, not jump high, and most importantly, we will slowly get blocks and may not get at all. Hello parents, finally we are back in Minecraft. Wow, such a sure interesting feature is added to us today. I hope it's not a mass infection and it's not for life, because it would be scary to constantly realize that if you take any damage, you will decrease in size. George and I are going to have a hard time because we're small enough, and we're going to be smaller if we keep this up. Today, you have to try not to get hurt. <laughs> so now, we all need to generate enough resources so that when we shrink, we have the resources to live and we don't suffer small. So personally, I'm digging us a rock right now, and if there's iron ore, there's iron ore too. All this we definitely need because of this steaming stove, as well as a lot of useful tools. Without this, we are nowhere. Okay, I'm gonna go check the back of the cave if there's any ore or not. Oh my god, I've become much smaller than before. I think I'm halved. It's just awful. I can even barely jump on one block. I hope I get out of this cave. All right, well, I'm gonna go get some wood for the whole family. It's a good thing there are very big trees. So I'm gonna cut them all down and we'll have enough wood for years to come. And we're going to survive no matter what. Personally, I don't really believe that's possible. Once I cut a tree, I have to check it out. I think I'm not going to shrink at all. So now I finished finishing the last couple of logs and need to try this our new feature in Minecraft. Hey! Oh my god, I'm so much smaller. I can't believe my eyes. I'm much smaller now than I was. I was little, but I was a little bit above one block. And now I'm shorter and I'm having trouble moving. I'm going to mine a lot of sand at a small lake. We'll need it to craft glass, for example, or just for everyday use. For example, you can make a bottle of water out of glass so we don't die of thirst. I also want to pick some sugar cane here to plant it somewhere. <laughs> so we're done collecting all the resources that are needed for the first time. As I can see, I'm not the only one who's down. Peppa, how did you get hurt? It was hard enough on the ground. 
Here I was in the mine, fell out of the darkness somewhere deep in the cave and barely made it out of there. We need to make sure we don't get hurt again so we can settle down. Now I was just harvesting trees, and I got damage on purpose. I just wanted to see how it worked and how fast. Please forgive me, I have let you down a bit. From now on, no more checks, because I have made sure that we are reducing from damage and very quickly. Now even George is taller than me, very uncomfortable. You're all so small. I'm the only one who hasn't suffered any damage yet, and I'm still the same height. Please be very careful, because the smaller you become, the weaker you will be. And we will need to settle in the house and maybe go to the deep mine. You cannot even dig ordinary blocks, let alone ores. I hope you understand. <laughs> While I was digging the sand, I saw a small village nearby near the river. I suggest you all together now run there. Just please keep up with me, but I'm also not going to run too fast because you'll never catch me. I can't do any heavy things because I'm small. So to take it easy, I'll just look at the chests in this village. I found some forge and it has a chest. What's there? Wow, there's not a lot of bad stuff here. There's a whole bunch of iron ponchos, some apples and some bread. This is very good because now we have a little armor and not even much food. So I'm going to get us a lot of food now. The vegetable garden in this village will help me. There's so many plants growing here, especially a lot of beets and wheat. This is very cool. You can in the future make a big farm out of it. The way I see it, I can't do it alone. So I called in Peppa, who I think can handle the task of collecting all these plants. Yeah, Mama Pig. It's good of you to call me out. I mean, I'm small enough and I don't have much strength. But picking a vegetable garden isn't that complicated, so I'll have no problem doing it. I like gardening very much, but the most fun is to collect. <laughs> While we were running around and exploring the village, George found us a cool house to settle in for a while. Night has already come, so we need to think over the night. Just as there are zombies outside, no matter how they attack us. It would be less fun if we were attacked by zombies, caused a lot of damage, and kept small for the rest of our lives. It's okay. I already have a small supply of tools, so now we're gonna go fight zombies. Yet we have settled in the inhabitants not for nothing, and they will necessarily need to defend themselves from such monsters. So Papa Pig, now we will go fight the zombies, and Peppa and George will stay in the house for the leaders. Wait for us here. Okay. I'm gonna go first investigate the zombies. There's so many of them, I'm afraid I can't handle them. They're so big, I'm scared to look at them. They're so gigantic. Papa Pig, now I will try to help you with this amount of zombies. There are so many of them, but I'm still the same size and I have the opportunity to kill them all. I hope with the stone sword I succeed and they do not even harm me. Oh my god, I have suffered a little damage. It means I'm going to shrink, it can't be this. Oh my god, Mom, Dad, you're so little. I don't think the zombies have done so much damage to you that you've become so... Dad's become so small you can barely see him. I mean, it's funny looking, but it's also scary because Dad stays small for life. I hope there is some way out, but for now, we will live like this. If you look, even George is above everyone in our family. <laughs> You're all so big, and I'm very tiny because of the zombie damage. I think I'm the size of a little mouse that runs around the house. It's very difficult to live in such a big world. It's like I'm in a big skyscraper. Very unusual and scary. Let's try to go to the cave now. We'll just have to pick up iron ore for the future crafts, but I can't do it. Here we are in a cave, Papa Pig. Now we will try to get something here. I may be small, but with the help of a pickaxe, it is possible to get something. Wait a little longer than usual, of course, but mind. I will continue in the same spirit until I get tired. I'm a little bit bigger than you, Mom, but I think I can dig blocks just like I do when I'm normal height. I feel a lot of energy and strength. Now I'm trying to extract rock or iron ore. An ordinary stone breaks easily, so there will be no problem with the rock. And as I see it, iron ore is not going to be a problem either, because it breaks as quickly as a rock. I can't do anything at all, so I'm just gonna stand here and try not to get lost in this cave. We'll have to go home soon. A few moments later. Family, we have to go. Ah, creeper. I think we all died, but we were able to reborn in our house. It's very strange because we are back to the same size and height. I think that effect was before the first death and then it's gone and it's back to normal. I hope we never have another adventure like this because it's scary. But I loved today's survival, especially being an ant. What? 
We were blown up by the creeper. How did we survive? It is very good that we are all together again with the same height. I wouldn't want our dad to be the smallest and George the tallest. That's not proportional. Ha ha ha. I'm kidding. I would live with you even if you were very scary monsters because you are my family and we will always be together. <laughs> This survival was the most exciting. I liked being even less than I am, but I wouldn't want to be as small as Dad was today. I mean, it's an almost imperceptible growth, and there's always this feeling that you're going to be crushed by someone just like that. But it's always better to be tall, because I'm used to it myself and the people around me.